How's it going, Reef Keepers? I have filmed this video like a dozen times, and I think the best way for me to go through it is just to take it slow and easy, because uh, it's a difficult video to produce. So um, it also involves a lot of me talking at you and a lot of <laughs> looking at this DIY calc reactor and a bottle of, of calc water powder here. So um, bear with me, all right? I want to go through the uh, way that calc water works and what it does, and a couple of different ways that you can dose it. So first and foremost, Kalkwasser is alkalinity and calcium, okay? That's what's contained within Kalkwasser powder. So things like magnesium, you are going to have to take care of that separately. Just know that Kalkwasser is alkalinity and calcium. And in addition to providing alkalinity and calcium, crucially, it also boosts your pH, which is great for your coral. So uh, it does those three things exceedingly well, and I have seen the results on the tanks that I have Kalkwasser dosing on. Um, it's pretty undeniable from where I sit. Uh, those tanks do very well compared to tanks that I had in the past where I did traditional dosing, what, I'll, what I will call three-part dosing, which is dosing alkalinity, calcium, and magnesium separately you know, in separate containers and just dosing the exact amount you need, you know, considering the uptake of those elements. So, uh, important things to note right off the bat. One, Kalkwasser is very cheap, very cheap. I save a significant amount on the cost of supplements for my tank because Kalkwasser now serves as the foundation of my dosing methodology and uh, three-part dosing is simply a supplement to the Kalkwasser. So by that I mean uh, the amount of Kalkwasser that I dose to my tank, uh, it, I, you can only dose as much as your tank evaporates in the course of a day. If you dose more calc saturated solution than your tank is evaporating in water in the course of a day, you're gonna raise the water level in your tank and desalinate you know, or lower the salinity of your tank. So you have a hard limit, and it's important to remember, because when your corals grow to a certain size, that they're uptaking more alkalinity and calcium than your calc washer can provide. Your, your backup to that, or your second tier of dosing, so to speak, is three-part dosing. Like you fall back onto that three-part dosing. It's just that you're using a very minute amount of three-part dosing chemicals compared to what you would use if you did not have kelk washer on your tank. I hope that makes sense. So that, I would say that using kelk washer as the foundation of your dosing and then using minute amounts of three-part dosing chemicals is probably the way that most reefers should go about this, especially considering the cost because kelk washer is so cheap and two, the pH boost because it's pretty un undeniable that higher pH leads to better coral growth, coloration, more consistency, and polyp extension, et cetera, et cetera. So, um, calc washer can be dosed in a few different ways. So, one is very simple. For a nano tank, I would use something like this put a couple tablespoons of calc in it, put, fill it up with RDI water, shake it up drop a dosing line in, in the top of it, and just dose exactly how much your tank needs in the course of a given week. Test your alkalinity. If it's a little low, up your dosing. If your alkalinity you know, uh, gets too high, dial back on the calc washer dosing. And then just continue refreshing this every couple weeks with new calc powder and new RODI as needed, right? So that, by the way, if you have a bigger tank, you just use a bigger jug and stir it up and saturate the RODI water with calc and, you know, go about your business that way. Very simple, very cost effective. You do have to refill it and it's that refilling it that drove me to develop a like mini calc washer reactor for this nano tank. And I have a large size calc reactor uh, that's about double the size DIY for my 110 gallon system. Now, when it comes to dosing calc, you want a doser that, if it's on a nano tank, you can get away with like a Kamoer doser. It's like 50 bucks and it'll dose, uh, you can dose 24 times a day, 
but you want to keep Kelk moving through the lines at least 24 times a day. And the best solution is technically a continuous duty dosing pump that is slow dripping all day. So I have a continuous duty pump on my main tank. And on this, I have this little 24 times a day, $50 Kamoa doser that is, you know, Bluetooth and Wi-Fi capable, which is great. Makes it really easy. The reactor that I designed, I'll tell you how it's different from a traditional Kalkwasser reactor. A traditional Kalkwasser reactor has an RODI auto top-off line that comes in one side. So when your tank detects that it needs water, when your sensor says, hey, you know, water level's low, the RODI top-off water goes into the reactor, and then there's a spout on one side. And as it overflows, it overflows saturated calc solution into your, your sump. So it lives, you know, in your sump and just dumps directly into it or adjacent to your sump, and, you know, dumps into it with a line. So that's the traditional way that Kalkwasser reactors are designed, and they're very expensive. You can look at my video on how I designed this, but basically this utilizes a small nano-sized ATO sensor, and when the magnetic stir plate on this kicks on every few hours, and the little pill in there stirs the Kalkwasser solution, simultaneously the ato kicks on and fills up the the container back up to this line right here where the sensor is so that way i don't have to worry about refilling it and i only refresh the calc wasser powder on this every other week um i put this is on a 25 gallon tank i put a quarter cup of calc wasser powder in here and for my 110 gallon system, I put like a third of a cup to a half a cup in, um, you know, every, I do that every week, just out of an abundance of caution. I've got acros in that tank. I want everything to be really consistent, but you don't have to do it that much. Um, basically, uh, I, you can either test with a pH probe, the pH of the solution. So I have like a pinpoint pH probe on the solution, uh, on my main tank and Kalkwasser, uh, we'll keep the solution at, at least on a pinpoint probe, the maximum it can read is 12.3 pH. That's where it'll keep it. And if I ever see it drop down to like 12.2, 12.1, I know that either the magnetic pill got jammed in there, which has happened a couple of times, or like, you know, I just forgot for a couple of weeks and it's like, oh, you know, I need to refresh that Kalkwasser. Um, again, that's only happened a couple of times. I'm pretty militant. Um, but keep in mind, I mean, you can test it with pH or you can just be militant about your uh, testing of alkalinity and calcium in your tank. And over time, you can see that like you're dosing the same amount, but it's going, the those levels are going down. That's probably a sign that your calc washer is getting exhausted. However, I would say considering how cheap calc washer is, just like every week or two, put fresh powder in and then you don't have to worry about like tracking if it's exhausted or not. It's cheap enough that like I'm not worried about quote unquote waste, right? Whereas with three part dosing using traditional supplements, I would be very worried about waste because those are much more expensive. So um, basically using a Kalkwasser reactor removes the need for you to fill up whatever jug or tub you're putting your solution into um, if you go the traditional way, which would be to just mix it up in a container and dose out of that. Um, but either way, uh, keep in mind, you can again, you can only dose as much as your tank evaporates in the course of a day. So that's how much per day you can dose. Do not dose over that or you will lower the salinity in your tank and raise your water level and throw things out of whack. Um, and then, again, on a nano tank, you're only going to be probably, unless it's really filled out with coral, you're not going to need to dose up to that maximum at all. But when corals grow out to a point where they're uptaking alkalinity and calcium in a higher amount than what kelk wasser can provide over the course of a day, that is when you will need to fall back onto some precision three-part dosing. And that dosing is much more limited than it would otherwise be without Kalkwasser, but you don't anticipate that you can rely on Kalk alone forever. Uh, you will eventually need to fall back on three-part dosing 
to supplement your primary dosing, which will be Kalkwasser, right? Um, so that's kind of the long and the short of Calc. Um, it is, it's intimidating because it's this whole like other factor that is a little bit more of a consideration than traditional three-part dosing where it makes a lot of sense. Like you're just dosing what your tank needs of each element, you know, every day. And that to me just made a lot of sense and it was simple, but I was spending so much money on it that um, when I started kind of paying more attention to what Telegram was saying about Kelkwasser and the cost benefit, I got real curious about it. And then I watched a lot of Reef Dork videos on Kelkwasser, which I highly suggest. And that's what kind of, you know, started to, his videos really made things click. And I thought to myself, all right, you know, I'm gonna take this on. And I spent a lot of time planning out what kind of reactor I wanted. Cause I, I'm a bit of a nerd when it comes to gear. I wanted a reactor. I just couldn't do the traditional kind of Kalkwasser reactor and I had to figure out a way that I could, you know, pinpoint dose out of it because I knew I was gonna, especially with this one, put it on a tank that did not require a maximum amount of Kalkwasser possible per day. So this way I can, you know, precision dose what I need for this tank every week. And it's been working out great. And again, if you wanna watch that video of how I built this, um, you know, it's it's in my list of videos, please go watch it. And uh, if you have questions about this, if there's something that I, you know, I didn't cover um, or skimmed past too quickly, please feel free to leave comments. Um, I'm no expert, but I do have this really working well for me at this point. And I've, you know, troubleshot through a few different things that have gone on with it. And hopefully I can speak to it. So, um, you know, I want, again, I wanted to make the video for people who are intimidated by this, um, or people who are just getting into reef keeping and want to, you know, try Kalkwasser. And I truly believe that it is a better solution financially and for tank health than uh, three-part dosing is for most reef keepers. If you're a three-part dosing reef keeper and you got plenty of experience and you, and you understand why you're doing it, you know, I know that it works out better for some people in some certain circumstances. I just think as foundational dosing and at like overall tank health goes, especially for new reef keepers, like Kelkwasser is a really, really good bet for tank health. So I'm not knocking any other kind of dosing. I just think that this is uh, critically underutilized because of the intimidation factor. And that's what I'm trying to break down. So um, anyway, I'm sorry that the video is so long and that, you know, it's just me sitting here in front of my, you know, dosing setup, but, uh, you know, I wanted to kind of go through this and hopefully somebody found some use with it. Uh, quick note though, that calc washer there, bulk reef supply calc, I am changing that calc. This is fine. Um, I'm going over to vast Marines, uh, calc because, um, it's, a, from what I understand, a bit higher quality, um, and it is also like I can get it in a massive amount at a time, like in a bucket. And, uh, you know, I want both those benefits. So there's a lot of different calc options. They all work. Some are technically better than others. Um, I'm not real big into sporting aperture. Uh, and so I am, you know, jettisoning that for that reason and others. But uh, if you're a BRS person, you know, it'll work too. So, all right, guys. Um, Thanks for listening, and uh, like I said, if you got questions, please uh, go ahead and shoot them at me. Have a good one.